Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you saw my post, I did get accepted to run for historian. Now I just have to make my speech and poster. So today I will be playing three alto saxophone scales. And all the if you know all the letters, they'll be right up here to remind you which others, if you play the alto saxophone and you want to learn one of these three scales. And we're going to start with the easiest, and you know, I may mess up, so please don't judge me. And I am a beginner, so I'm going to try my best, and this is called the G scale. If you have a tenor saxophone, this will be different. We call it like, um, C scale, whatever you call it. Um... For flu, it's a B flat scale, I think. But this is saxophone. These are three alto saxophone um, scales. So I may mess up. And I'm going to get started. So I'm very nervous. And I may be playing um, songs. Like London Bridge. It may not sound like the original because it's slower, but I'm gonna, cause, um, yeah, I'm gonna try. Okay, ready? G scale. And all the notes will be up here. <laughs> right here you just play a normal G um, yep normal G and you hold this this little thing that is a high G but a regular G you just keep it like this and you guys you know um, a a is these two fingers B is just one finger C and D is all of them. It's like this. And if you're new to sex, we never push it up, down. Okay, so we're on D. And E is this. It's like D, but just two fingers, not this finger. And um, F sharp is this with the trigger thing. Anything higher than C has to um, have a trigger, this, and then and then high G, which you guys know, this, this. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the next scale. I think there's plenty of more scales, but I didn't learn them yet, so I'm gonna just go on with these three scales. The last one is the hardest, so we are gonna be learning um, a couple of different notes if you haven't learned. Okay, next scale is called the F scale. Now the F sharp, it's called the F. If you guys are new to um, alto saxophone, I can make a 
lesson maybe next video but for now if you know all the notes you can watch this video like most of the notes you can watch this video but if you don't know you're a beginner then you can watch um an the next video i'm gonna make soon because i have my saxophone and i'll probably make another video so let's get started f scale so i'm gonna play it fast and i'm gonna play it slow and i'm gonna show you the um letters I read this a little bit dry, so I'm gonna have to look it a little bit. I'm gonna test it out with the B. Okay. Ready? Instead of, um, like, it's like E, but without that one, like this. And no trigger. But at the end, the, um, at the end, so like all the way at the end, um, the F at the end is gonna have a trigger. Like this. So this is the F with no trigger. <laughs> something down. Okay, let's try again. Okay, that was F with no trigger. This is going to be the F with the trigger. High, high F. There we go. So that's the difference. High F and low. The next um, note we will be learning is a B flat. Yeah, I know it's like in flute and stuff, but it's also in saxophone. Okay, so you know A fingers, these two? So instead of those two, you're going to go down to here, this one, and lean your hand on it. And it's going to sound like this. Just like that. A. Okay, let me play it fast. I mean, it is a little difficult, though. 
This is, I just learned it today because I have my lessons today at school. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, this is an eight scale and you know an A is like this but then we're gonna have to make it higher and then this is the high A with the trigger you know that it's gonna sound like this sound like so I think I'm gonna need practice or it's supposed to sound like this I have no idea so I just learned this today by the way so I'm gonna need to practice that scale and you saw all the notes above it is a little tricky so if you want to learn this you're gonna have to practice it like how I do so I'll see you guys next video if you guys don't know anything about saxophone and you need help playing it I'll be showing you like some of the notes you need to know and yeah I'll oh wait this isn't the end of today's video I'm gonna play you um a song. Let's see. Let's see what page we're gonna go on. Wow. Okay. I'm almost there. Oh, also Christmas is coming up, so maybe on my saxophone I will play Jingle Bells. I know that song, and it's a very cute song. Okay. You guys may know Hot Crust Buns. Yep, I didn't mean to do that. That's just normal me messing up. Wrecking the whole place. Ah! Yeah, I also have a book. So this is why I'm always coming up here. Stay. Stay. Please. Okay. I'm just going to stand up and do it. Ready? Hot cross buns. It's like a French word for moon, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I know, my G's are really bad. Now they're good all the time. Okay, I'll give you a sneak peek on Jingle Bells. I just gotta go to the side because I can't see it. Okay, I'm gonna play the first two measures. Yep, that was the first two measures. Um, I messed up on the third. I was gonna give you the third, but okay, fine, I'll give you the third. Yeah, I need practice on that measure. I can't do my G's. All of a sudden, it's good. Wait a minute. Did I go over the um no with you at um on the last one? Oh no, maybe I did it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. I forgot. I think. Okay. So on the last one, I hope I find it. Um, the notes, the notes that we're learning is a C sharp, and a C sharp is like the best note because you don't have to hold anything, no notes down, just plain. Okay, next is the G sharp. The G sharp is a normal G, but you want to lay your pinky on this. That. This is a G sharp. <laughs> My, yeah, my instrument is like crazy right now. But, hope you guys um, enjoyed today's video. And I will see you guys next video. And I will talk more about the historian thing. And I will play more of my saxophone. Oh my god. I'm wearing a necklace right now. And this neck strap is giving me like the worst marks ever. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Love you guys so much. Bye.